and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you're having a phenomenal day today. Today we will be looking at the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 31 through 42. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but are you trying to kill me? Because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the father. They answered and said to him, our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come of my own, but he sent me. Today, in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 31 through 42, we hear Jesus teaching his followers. In this passage, we hear the very commonly used phrase, the truth will set you free. In Latin, this is translated as veritas vos liberabit. As a matter of fact, this phrase, veritas vos liberabit, serves as the motto of many universities throughout the world, signifying the power and strength and unshackling that are associated with concepts like knowledge and learning and truth. The truth will set you free. But Jesus didn't just say the truth will set you free. What he said was, if you remain in my word, you will truly be disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Free, a much more detailed and nuanced context for these words. His message was deeper than the very simple phrase, truth leads to freedom. When you look at that full phrase, what you see is remaining in my word leads to becoming disciples. Becoming disciples leads to knowledge of the truth, God's truth. And then knowledge of God's truth leads to spiritual freedom from sin. So rather than the simple construct, truth, freedom, what Jesus is saying is we have something much more complex, word, discipleship, truth, freedom. Without the proper grounding in God's word and one's discipleship, One cannot know the truth that provides the freedom that Jesus speaks of. Without the bedrock to stand truth upon, we're left with Pilate's question to Jesus during his trial when he asks, what is truth? Remember that dramatic scene where Pilate and Jesus are conversing after Jesus had been scourged. Jesus is standing before Pilate, bloody and bruised, wearing his kingly robes and his crown of kingly thorns covered with blood and bruise. And Pilate asks him, so you are a king. 
And Jesus answers, You say that I am a king. In fact, I was born and came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. And that's when Pilate rhetorically asked the question, What is truth? But in today's gospel, it is much more than a rhetorical question. Truth is the rock. It is the foundation. My reflection today is to think about what rock I have my feet attached to. Are my feet on the rock of God's word that leads to my discipleship, his truth, and my spiritual freedom? Or are my feet attached to something else, something not attached to his word, but maybe attached to my word, something not attached to discipleship, but rather my discipleship, something not reflected in true truth, but in false truth, and something that looks like freedom but is really chains and burden. Today, Jesus said, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Let's remember that connection today and every day. Word, discipleship, truth, and freedom. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle. And remember, our word of the day is word, discipleship, truth, and freedom. Until next time, be well and be blessed.